have about three songs up front and more worship for this this day. We're actually going to do some more worship at the end. So if this is a little bit different for you, uh, that's okay. We're going to be, continue to worship at the end of our message today. But I just want to say welcome to our church. If this is your first time or your thousands thousands time to our church, we're glad that you're here. In, in your program, there's a little thing called a connection card, and this is just a way that we can resource you spiritually in your journey here at Saddleback. On the front, there's ways that you can get connected. If you can, uh, you know, let us know uh, if it's your first time or whatever next steps here. But it's also a way on the back side of this connection card that you can write a prayer request and help us to know how we can serve you in this season that you're in. But what I'm excited about, our team has been working so hard uh, to put together a digital version of this connection card. So if you'll notice, on the front of your bulletins, there's a little QR code that you can use. Um, and we'll also put that QR code on the screen. And this is a way that you can take next steps here at Saddleback uh, very easily. So if you pull out your um, camera on your phone and you point that camera at the QR code, you'll notice a link will pop up. You can click that link, and it will take you to this page here. And now this digital version is everything that you have here on this connection card. So you would just click that connect button, go ahead and put on that tutorial. This is what it will look like. You scan your QR code. It takes you to the page where you'll have this uh, few buttons. You can click uh, which campus you're at, enter some of the information for us, put your name, put your uh, campus, put your email, that sort of thing. And then that's a way that you can do everything you do on this card in like 30 seconds. That's good on the video, thank you. So, uh, in our church right now, we are entering into a season of generosity. And uh, of gratitude and generosity, as we enter into this holiday season, I'm always reminded, especially in Thanksgiving, this time of gratitude. And gratitude is the time of reflecting and looking back on all that God has done in our life. And generosity is looking ahead and being able to give and being able to say, thank you, Lord, for all the things that you've done in our life. So we're entering into a season of gratitude and generosity in our church. And as I reflect on this last weekend, even, I'm very grateful for a group of people that we're celebrating here today. And it's, a, it's our veterans. So on, uh, on Friday, we had Veterans Day, as some of you know. Some of you here in our congregation are veterans. And I just wanted to take time just to say thank you so much for your service. Uh, thank you so much for your sacrifice for our freedom. Um, and that is a huge example of what Jesus has done for us. He sacrificed his own life for our freedom and our right standing with God. So thank you so much. And I just wanted to take some time just to pray for our veterans. So uh, you don't have to, but if you, if you would uh, like to at this moment, I'm going to ask our veterans to stand so we can honor you. So if there's any veterans here today, if you have the courage to stand, I want to pray for you. Let's, let's pray. God, I just thank you so much. I thank you for the veterans at our church. I thank you for the sacrifices that they've made. I thank you for the, all of the people, even right now, that are in the armed forces. People in our church who, uh, who have a spouse, who have a loved one, who have a, a son or a daughter. Or, or, or maybe they've uh, gone through some sort of armed services themselves and they know the sacrifice. They know the challenges and the struggles and the pains of, of having to, to bear through the holidays without the love. And so I just pray for, for those people in our church right now. And first of all, I just I thank you so much for how you've used them and how you continue to use them to serve our country, protect the freedom and the liberty and the rights that we have in the United States of America. And so God, I pray a blessing over them, and I pray that their service would be an example to us. Their service would be an example to us, Lord Jesus, and it's, a, it's an example of your service to us as well. We love you, Jesus, and we pray this in your name. Amen. Amen. So I just want to say thank you to our brother. Thank you guys so much. Uh, speaking of serving, um, we have a great volunteer team at our church, and this last week we got to celebrate all of our volunteers. It was an amazing celebration, a team rally that we got to come together. And now we have um, something that I wanted to show you, and it's something that we put together a while ago, and this is just a little serving video that some people on our team um, put together, and it allows you to see um, kind of an inside look 
had one of our specific, one of our teams in, in uh, specifically our setup and teardown team. Okay, so this is just a short little video, and then I'll explain afterwards uh, some of the next steps here. So why don't you go ahead and put on that video there? Hi, my name is Chris. I'm the industry leader for the teardown group at Saddleback Brand. And basically, what we do is we gather all the items after the service. Uh, we bring them out here, and then we go ahead and put them away in the store. questions, 
you can just come to that volunteer tour next week or just put on your connection card volunteer tour and then we'll walk you through we'll introduce you to every person on every team and it will be a great opportunity for you guys to step into some service uh, in this in this season of life all right now lastly um, what I wanted to mention is we have um, of course we have Christmas coming up and we have our five-year celebration our five-year anniversary as a campus and so I'm really excited about this month coming up. Um, it's a great time for us to connect. It's a great time for us to, to look back at all that God has done and then continue to look forward in, in, in hope and expectation. And so we got some cool things that we're going to be doing. Uh, we have our five-year anniversary with the ugly, uh, ugly Christmas sweater, and that's going to be after both services, some ornament and cookie decor uh, decorations, gingerbread and house decorations, and then um, our Christmas services. So we're going to have a special candlelight service on Christmas Eve. And then on Christmas Day, we're going to have uh, just a shortened service only at the 11 o'clock. We'll have a cocoa bar, stuff like that. So it should be a lot of fun. Now, before we start today's message, as I mentioned, we're entering in a time of gratitude and generosity. And so Pastor Andy has actually put together a special video talking about um, what he's calling our Accelerate and or our Giving campaign that we're going to be doing at the end of this year. So uh, let's join up with Pastor Andy and the rest of Saddleback um, as we watch this video and then uh, bridge into the message together. 